Hi guys and welcome to another video. I'm here with Dale. I'm here with Amber. And uh, we have some exciting news as we are expecting... And a bath. So that is right. Yesterday, um, well a few days ago actually, I decided I wanted another bath. I won't tell you anything about it yet. You decided. I decided I wanted another bath. Dale decided, yeah that's an alright idea. And um, because I'm with Dale now, it helps me be able to afford one easier because we're going to share the car obviously it's going to be like our weekend car um, so yesterday we uh, made an arrangement to go down to our local uh, dealership West Service Sports Cars of course um, and Dale test drove his first bath and we're not going to tell you anything about like I say what it is but you were quite impressed yeah that's right yeah that's right yeah. so uh, yeah then um, we basically done the deal yesterday so uh, we are now, or I, I'm now the proud owner of my fourth bath, and Dale's the joint owner of his first bath, first. and your first ever new car as it is, brand spanking new. So for me, it's my second brand new bath, isn't that crazy? Mm. So uh, yeah, this time Thursday evening, it'll be behind us somewhere on the driveway, but first, as you can tell, we have quite a few cars here, so we need to talk car plans in order to get ready for the baby of Bath. Right, I've just sent Dale in to make me a cup of tea so I can talk to you guys properly without any distractions. So behind me we have the free car driveway lineup at the moment. My brother's Alan Hill Road actually has a space for a driveway for once. My fian my fiance, my Honda is still at the back and then Dale's Passat is behind me. But the Honda needs to go to make room for the new car. So outside the house, the Caddy is now on its original steel wheels and winter tyres. And that's because the other day, this happened. Right guys, I hope you can hear me over Dale's Passat because he's got the fuel mod on, he's making some noise. So ever since I got given Dale's free SDM wheels, they are cursed in my ownership because not only have I curbed the wheels three times, so three out of four wheels are curbed, obviously it's my own fault, but this wheel, we went back to my parents the other day, my dad pumped up all my tyres, and this one is, I mean I know they are low profile stretch tyres, but this one isn't very happy because although it's in the mud, we've put it on the road, and it looks like we've got a flat on the front. So my parents are on their way over to save us. They're going to bring back my winter caddy wheels, which do seem to run better on the caddy. I don't think the caddy really likes these, this setup at the moment. So we're going to get the caddy, uh, the original steel wheels on with the winter tyres. So hopefully that'll be better for these country roads, which take me home. So yeah, we're going to get the winter wheels back on. Um, good news on the Honda, I'll show you what's happening with the Honda. And here my parents are now actually in the little panda. I'll put no he's got his fuel mod on so yeah having a flat tire was a perfect opportunity to then stick my original wheels on as i ha have been meaning to do this for quite a while plus it's winter there's a little bit of ice on these country roads so yeah i'm happy to now have the winter tires and still real wheels on for the time being until well i don't know and get some other wheels i guess my brother he's coming to the end of his ownership in a bmw he's looking to get rid of that soon he's had his fun in it so uh yeah it was only meant to be a temporary uh, car anyway and then, like I say, at the moment we have Dale's car at the front. We have my brother's Audi All Road, which hasn't barely been on the drive since we've lived there, so he's pretty happy he's got space. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have to put the new bath at the back and get rid of the Honda. So, yeah, obviously the Honda is going to go. We're going to talk about that in a little bit more detail in a minute. But first, I'm going to show you what happened a few days ago with the Honda. I think this is meant to sound like this. Is it all right? <laughs> you turn it down now. Right, so I've just started up the Honda the first time in three weeks. The battery's been connected the whole time. I've just started her up the first time and she's running sweet. She's actually still on. Got a bit of damp in the back, so we'll have to. We just got the windows open. We're going to leave her running for a bit. But the trusty old girl lives again. So yeah, I was literally pretty happy that it started first time. The car hasn't got much petrol in it, but we'll sort that out when I talk about the plans for the Honda in a second. I swear every time I come out here, the next door neighbour or whoever's dog is barking, so apologies about that as usual. So what happens when it comes to the Honda? The MOT is about to run out very quickly. So um, it's obviously sawn, it's off-road at the moment. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to get his MOT probably this week and that way it's obviously always better to sell a car which is road worthy so you can get more money for it. So the Honda will get an MOT hopefully within the next couple of weeks in order to get it ready for sale. Now obviously my rotors are going to have to go. I might sell them separately or they might go with the car if someone gives me good enough money for the car and the wheels together. It's a shame because I spend loads of money on these wheels and tyre set but you know, sometimes when you modify cars you can never get the money but you spent into the car back so that's just going to be one of those things I need it to go so yeah um, so I'll probably sit the original Accord wheels back on maybe sell this separately or maybe let them go of the car it's a shame because they've only done literally about 100 miles we've got the new rotor in the, the Toyo tyres which I picked out from Demon Tweaks so um, get the car MOT, wash her up a bit sit the old wheels on before it does go in for an MOT me and Dale might just do a quick check over today on anything it might possibly fail on hopefully nothing I know it needs a new number plate bulb that would technically be the only thing it will fail on so uh, yeah see if it, if it needs any more work doing before the MOT then get an MOT hopefully it will pass and then try and sell it to another Honda Fuge S would be pretty cool so this would be where the bath is going but as you can see from when the Honda has been stored here it is covered in sort of well it's not covered but it is getting some bird poo from the trees that it's under so what I'm going to try and do ASAP is to try and get a car cover so uh, when the bath is parked here while well, we're not using it it can be covered over and hopefully stopping the car from getting a nice bird poo collection on the car I'll be really sad to see her go I'm only a third owner two elderly guys had it before me so yeah, if I could keep her, I would, but I can't afford to have my van on the road and a bath on the road and a Honda on the road. So uh, even though she's not technically on the road, but there's no point in me keeping her if she's just going to sit here for ages. I might as well sell it, just sell her to someone who is obviously going to use her. So uh, I'll keep you updated on the Honda. Um, but for now, that's what's going to have to happen to her. So I think I pretty much should end the video there. We've spoken about the Caddy, spoken about the plans for the Honda and making plans for the arrival of mine and Dale's next car which is going to be my fourth Abarth, my second new Abarth and Dale's first ever new car in Abarth so I am super 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 excited nothing beats the feeling of knowing in a few days time you're collecting a new car whether you've had that new car before or not it's another story but just knowing that I'm going to have an Abarth again in my ownership I I really can't wait. I'm gonna definitely try and hold on to this one. I always say that with every car, and it doesn't work. But however, hopefully, because it'll be shared with Dale, he'll hopefully encourage me to keep hold of it longer because it'll be his car as well. And it just wasn't the same me trying to make exciting videos for the Honda, was it really, or the Caddy? Because there's no exhaust noise, there's no speed. It just wasn't the same, and uh, I think my views show that. But um. Yeah, the videos are going to get better from here on so in about four days time it's sunday now so in a few days time on thursday evening the bath will be on our ownership on sunday we're going to go to the first local meet in the new car and um but probably on fridays when i'll reveal it to you all on the social media so do subscribe to see the new car like this video if you're happy that i'm going to have another bath in my ownership and comment below what sort of one you think it is? Is it another 124 Spider? Is it a 595? Let me know in the comments what you think I've got below. Colours, spec, just go for it. And uh, follow me on Instagram, on my Driven page, and my personal page to keep up to date with the car reveal as well. And I'll see you in a few days' time. I'm so, so, so looking forward to this. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye-bye. Hi, guys, and hello. welcome... <laughs> you said say hello, so I said hello. Cardo! Thanks. Hi guys and welcome to another video. I'm with Dale. And I'm with Amber. Yeah, and um, we are obviously... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop, it's recording now.